filling a little bit of fuel in the trash here before I put them away. Yep, sprayer's unhooked now, so gotta put away. So I gotta do some more work to it. And grain of access, I got other stuff sitting out. Stuff sitting over by the red building right now. Um, trying to get as much stuff put away as I can and gotta sell some yearlings we're gonna sell, haul them today. And yeah, it's hauling another load of soybeans. The guy with the oats is just left. And we're not combining today. That soybean field I thought was gonna be ready hasn't even changed much. Um, green pods yet, and green patches, and wasn't, wasn't ready, and it's not gonna be good. I'm sitting in now, so. Uh, yeah, might as well as get the conveyor and the big truck put away. I gotta go eat something then. I just hope Dad will be home in an hour or so, hour and a half. Get those yearlings hauled. I gotta look over the horse trailer real quick here, cow trailer, and Chad's good to go. And get a load haul out of here, and yeah, I guess I'll keep going. I want the crud to do. Hey, hey, hey. Rather would have been combine today, but because that's just the way it's gonna be though. When it's not ready, it's not ready and that stupid snowstorm coming. Got done fixing the electric fence around here. First time that thing was down and Fall 27, well the summer 2017 we put these up. But that was the first time, I guess that side one wire was down one day, but that was the first time that fence was down around there, completely down. We had yearling, the yearlings in here, we got them out now. And I was just, uh, check the salt block. I actually had to move a salt block because there's got some critters in here, this patch here. And uh, I thought to myself, well, I might as well run down here, check the solar tanks real quick. Fence is down here, so I fixed that. Luckily, nothing's broken, but they were in there all right. Must have been bored some some time. So we gotta come down with the loader so I scrape some dirt back towards the tank here too. They got that really chewed down quite a ways, quite a ways away. That's like that's almost a foot. So. Take the bucket and just push dirt up here then. That's all, all, all we can do here. So, I mean, there should be a huge, nice cement pad here, but that's just too much money. So, I'm gonna go around the other pasture over here too. I haven't checked them all summer, making sure everything's working here. I am getting a spark, but I got the fencer unplugged now, but yeah, isn't that something? I mean, I'm in a t-shirt. It's beautiful out. 30 hours from now, well, 24 hours from now, it's probably gonna be in the low 30s and starting to rain and snow. What gives? Fill up their water tank here a bit to just started it. Still about halfway full and then it'd be good for a while again. But, uh, yeah, I don't have the float here for running it automatically in either tank. Uh, because we don't have really that many critters down here. That thing just, just sit in the sun, just eat away in the sun. So, just the knuckleheads here. All nine are here. There's one off there, and there's one over there yet. Or, yeah, there, he's way out there. Fence still works yet, so I just tested the end of the fence there. That's the end of the line right there, so it's sparking. So, pretty sure he's the boss. Pretty sure. Hey, buddy. Missing somebody yet? Yeah, I'm missing one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Yeah, there should be another one there. We got one at home, the bad leg, and the other one that was tested bad this spring. We sold him last week, which is kind of sad. I like that bull. He's a gentle bull. I wonder where that other one's at. Huh? Probably, probably down here. I have to go drive around and make I should check their salt block too because they have salt down here too. But I gotta bring a post down, I gotta fix a post over there that's broken off. Hey guy. Hey guy. Hey guy. Hey guy. Yeah, yeah. He 
tame down. This is the, yeah, this is the young one, one of the, the four we bought this year. He was the first one to tame down. Tame down pretty quick. Didn't take much for him. He'll be a nice bull. Nothing happens to him, huh? That's about it. You guys got, yeah, we got a spray for cockleburrs again. Getting a lot of them. Yeah, cockleburrs in his hair. Yeah, you're tame, bud, huh? That's good. Hey, brat. You let me pet you? Over here. Yeah, brat. Hey, come here. Yeah, come here. You gotta come beside. Hey, come here. Come here. Hold still. Come here. Nope. Nope. Not today. Not today. Yeah, he's kind of a wilder one over there. He's getting down there. And uh, that red Solaire is a little wilder, somewhat. Got him more this, this fall, I suppose, for winter. He's mulled out pretty good, like, he just stands here now. Yeah. Curious. That's, that's always good. Hey, bud. Boys, you're coming up here. See, I'll, I'll hang around these, these guys a little bit. I know kind of how they behave together. That's just the problem when Brat and then those two bulls and those other Solaires come and it's kind of like I eh, don't want to don't want to screw around too much here so one guy's coming over there yeah it's, that is 131 over there I can see his orange tag that one I think is the other Solaire there I don't know where the other bull's at where, where's the other bull at <laughs> they're pretty mellow Hello, bud. Pretty good. At least they got one good day. I mean, that's so hard on them, too, these animals. It's so hard on them. Going from 70 degrees out. I mean, it's been kind of cold the past week or so. Kind of chilly. Windy, too. But now a nice day again here, and just, it's not good. It's not good. Surprised we don't have some sick animals after this whole storm here too. So it's going to be after the storm passes, probably uh, give the cows and calves a break, a couple day break. Go check them, make sure everybody looks okay, and then uh, probably start moving them home then. Yeah, Brat's getting better. I almost can't call him Brat anymore. Lick my shoes. Yuck. Yuck. Wait and see how bad it gets. Hopefully it's not that bad. I just wonder what the corn and soybeans are going to look like after this too. Inside of an empty grain bin right now. Pulled out some more soybeans lately here. Again. Wasn't planning on doing this, but uh, I was hoping to take soybeans in right out of the field. I put dirt in here or something because it doesn't have any air. There's just there's no air on this thing. So. There's just a little bit of spoilage around the outer edges here. It's the usual old snow and water. Just, just I noticed I got some holes up here by the thing up there. Get to that sometime. Get some seal up on there. I don't like the light coming around here either. It's not a good thing by the way. It's going to be so flat and cold. I'll go up there the ladder now and put the spray foam in there, but it's kind of a bad time to do that right now. Oh, I'm on top of the green bin right now, up here. <laughs> yeah, 
there's actually little bolts missing up here. I know a few of them have been cocked before. Like over here, you can see one was cocked before there, and over there, and uh, actually over there too. Some of these bolts are just, they're just loose. Some of them are snug yet, but even up here, like it's been cocked before, but I'm gonna kind of apply a little new thing onto it. That's what, that's what those holes are, so. But I'm not gonna be too, too concerned about the edges there. You know, the light coming on the sides here. Not as big of a deal. I mean, mainly it's just snow can blow in there, but at least rain isn't a big deal. These holes up here, yeah, anything and everything will drip in there, so. Soybeans is one thing, but might as well get them sealed while well. I can see it, so it's fresh in my mind, so I'm gonna do a little more up here. So, yeah. Oh, look at that nice roof over here. Is that last year you put that on, or is that two years ago? No, two years ago. Put that on. We're doing that. Not fun. You just keep finding things to do. It's just, you know, you forget the thing you wanted to do then. <laughs> kind of like there. I'm like, oh, I got to finish cleaning out that bin in there. Get that stuff out. Oh, look, there's holes up on top. Hmm, better go fix that too, I suppose. Just like me just going to chuck that solar, the solar tanks today. Just like that. Like, oh, look, the fence is down. Oh, better go fix that. <laughs> just, like I say, there's, there's always something to do. And you always find more stuff to do. But tomorrow I got to finish the uh, sprayer. You got stuff packed in here right now. I gotta figure out the sprayer back there now. I gotta take the nozzles off and some more stuff to drain on it. A couple plugs to take out, but yeah, it's it's not optimized in here for storage right now. It's pretty, pretty bad right now, but hopefully it's only temporary. I don't know how bad the storm is gonna be. We might be done bailing for the year, I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Please comment, subscribe, and yeah, we'll see what the storm is gonna do. I don't know. We'll find out. I'm looking forward to it. Later. Yeah, here's some corn here. Hey, caterpillar! I got a caterpillar. That's the guy I put in there yesterday. He was on the floor. He was on the floor over here, and I put him in here. But, but yeah, we tested this corn yesterday. Um, anywhere from 30 to 35 percent. We took various cobs in different areas, and uh, yeah, it's just it's it's not right. It's, it's getting there, but I don't know. And the soybeans do well. These soybeans dried a bit now since we picked them yesterday. They're sitting here, but yeah, they dried out pretty good now. But they're just they're too too many too many green ones yet. So yeah, there's even nice nice corn in here. We'll, we'll find out what the storm is going to do. I don't know. Maybe we won't have any more crops to combine anymore. I don't know. We probably that could very well happen. <laughs> Corn might just graze for the cows and then go shred the go shred the stuff at the old farm. And I hope not. I don't know. It's supposed to be wet and cold and freezing temps then and high winds. Would be surprised if the corn is leveled in the field if it can't support it with the wind too. It's gonna, you know, just shatter, break. I don't know.